Hey everyone, this is another video for a battery tray bracket. Uh, so I found the problem. Uh, so from the last video, I had an issue, uh, not an issue, but uh, the, the battery sits so tight in the, in the tray and I found the problem. So today I will solve this problem and I'll show you uh, what was going on there. Let me show you. So this is the bracket that's supposed to sit here. I cut this this hole right here, but it's not enough to fit this plastic, which is sticks out right here. And when you put in the screws back, when you install the screws back, so this plastic, which is covering this, I guess a spruce gear or whatever how it's called, I don't, don't really remember. But anyways, it pushed the uh, uh, pushed the uh, side of the bracket kind of uh, toward, and uh, it makes the tray a little bit uh, kind of tight. But uh, what what I will do, I'll cut this hole a little bit differently, a little bit bigger, right here. So it's not really comfortable. So basically I have to cut it here and maybe I'll cut completely right here because this part not really necessarily. So uh, anyways, we'll see you shortly. Okay, I decided to make a little kind of trimming or whatever, no, not the trimming, but uh, I sand a little bit the, uh, the edges right here just to make it kind of nice nice and it works well now okay let's see how it's gonna work yeah so now it's cool it's much easier to remove let me put the screws back and we'll see I have to buy a special kind of LM keys or whatever the uh, so anyways I have to buy something like screwdrivers uh, to make my job a little bit easier for now I'm using this key which is not perfect but it's okay I have time Most important, the result. So if everything will work fine, as I told you, let me know. I'll give you the uh, measurements if you need. The scan help to do that. So now even the screws, so uh, when I uh, read down the, uh, the bracket, the, uh, the tray, even the screws actually fits better than last time. So last time I tried to catch the, the holes to screw them in, now it looks like everything works smoother. Okay. Yeah, it looks like this part was important. So, like I said, it's pushed toward the uh, uh, kind of protection 
of the uh, spore gear. That's why it makes it a little bit difficult to put the butters in. Okay, all done. Let's try it again. Yeah. So it's not a problem now. It's tight, but like I said, it's really easy to, to remove them. So now it works properly. Uh, my next project, I guess, I'm not sure yet. So I didn't change this, uh, this bar yet. Uh, this uh, this plastic one. I'll show you closer. This one. Uh, this one right here. So I'm trying. Maybe I'll do the same thing. I'll use the same kind of profile. I'll take this one off. I'll take measurements and everything else. I'll drill the holes and maybe I'll redo uh, this bar. For now, I jumped with my car and let's say about. Uh, eight meters up and nothing happened but i'm not sure if, if it's forever so maybe they did improvement but i'm not sure because i have version 5 and i guess uh, some parts much stronger than was in previous version uh, 4 or 3 and like i said for now everything seems fine but if i'll break it so it's possible to do with the same uh, with the same profile um, another thing, uh, if you have any questions, like, uh, um, I mean, not the questions, if you have any uh, problems with your Armas uh, Creighton, uh, let me know, maybe I'll find a solution and maybe I will make another video to, uh, to show you at least what you can do and maybe you don't have to use exactly my idea, but at least it will give you some understanding what you can do with your arma to make it stronger. So anyways, if you like this video, please thumbs up, uh, put the comments below and uh, we'll see you probably next video. Thank you.